please join me in the entrance chant found on page three of your missalettes. Drop down, do from above you heavens. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. <clears throat> when King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock, to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old. Since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel, I will give you rest from your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response all song is, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept silent for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. 
To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, to her he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. This morning we have the annual Christmas letter from Archbishop Rohde. And so that will take the place of our homily this morning. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, each year on the fourth Sunday of Advent, it is my privilege to speak to you, the people of the Archdiocese of Mobile, and to wish you God's blessings as we prepare in a few days to celebrate that God became flesh in order to bring us salvation. At Christmas, we celebrate that the Lord was born in Bethlehem and placed in a manger. The name Bethlehem means house of bread. The babe who was born in Bethlehem was placed in a manger. A manger is a feeding trough where the animals are fed. We beautifully display this scene in our churches and homes. However, in addition to these displays, we need to reflect upon what God is teaching us in this scene. God's plans are always mysterious to us, and we are filled with wonder as we watch God's plan unfold. It is not a coincidence that Jesus was born in the town called House of Bread, for that he was, or that he was placed in a feeding trough. From the very moment of his birth, God is teaching us that he that he is with us in all things. He has come to bring us new life, not only at the end of the world, but also here and now. He feeds us with his body and blood and strengthens us to embrace in faith the new life he offers us today. In the Gospels, Jesus refers to himself as the bread come down from heaven. He tells us that he will give us his flesh to eat and his blood to drink. We trust in his words, and with faith we celebrate his body and blood at every Mass when we receive the Eucharist. The prophet Isaiah refers to the promised Messiah as Emmanuel, a name that means God is with us. What more could Jesus do to show us that he is with us, walking with us, feeding us, strengthening us, than to allow us, his mere creatures, to actually receive him into our very bodies? Jesus says to us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. He promises to satisfy our deepest hungers and longings of the heart. At times, life can drain our spirits 
and certainly this year of 2020 has tried our souls in many ways. The babe in the feeding trough reminds us that God has come to save us and to restore our spirits when the difficulties of life exhaust us. He is with us in all things, the joys and sorrows, the successes and the failures, the times of ease and the times of challenge. God never leaves us for a moment. He promises that he will not abandon us or leave us orphaned. As we look forward to the availability of a COVID-19 vaccine and the possibility of more people being able to safely return to Mass, we observe the year of the Eucharist and the parish in our Archdiocese. Let us remember that the church is truly another house of bread and the place where the Lord is offered to us. The altar is truly another manger, a feeding trough where the Lord is laid out for us to receive. At Mass, the bread from heaven is offered to us. Nourished by the real presence of the Lord, we are then sent to be the real presence of Jesus in our daily lives by the way we treat others and in living lives which give honor and glory to God. Let us not forget that when we receive communion, we are not receiving something, but instead we are receiving someone, the Lord himself whose birth we celebrate at Christmas. I pray that God will bless you and your loved ones and that each of you will have a merry and holy Christmas. Sincerely in the Lord, Most Reverend Thomas J. Rohde, Archbishop of Mobile. And this morning, may God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our creed, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, who in him all things were made. For us to him and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and in his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son is the Lord glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep watch over her always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That under the protection of Christ our times may be peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That Christ may banish disease, drive out hunger, and ward off every affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That as witnesses to Christ's love before all, we may abide in the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the intentions in our parish prayer book, and for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Mr. and Mrs. Buddy Barnett, for whom this Mass this morning is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord is the same. For our good and good of all the Holy Church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. By his gift, that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing him of your glories without end, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are holy and glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Bond of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. And eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the role and the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and then forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory, and glory, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of Let God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And the Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <coughs> Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my but only say the word of our soul shall be given to the
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever near, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. But before you leave, just a reminder the Christmas and New Year's schedule are in your uh, bulletin handout. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day today and a good week. Thank you. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, in our name, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him when we pray. And may do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, save all the holy spirits who wander the world, seek the rules of the souls. Divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of the man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be the name of our heart, blessed be the first of the blood, blessed be Jesus, the most protected by God, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consolator, blessed be the great Lord God, the great Consolator. Blessed be our Lord in the night of conception. Blessed be the voice of salvation. Blessed be the name of the Lord and the Mother. Blessed be St. John, the most famous spouse. Blessed be God, the saints.